during the uh, Warsaw Uprising, there were bunkers around the uh, in the ghetto that, um, well, I'll just show you to you. Uh, it's this nice uh, three-sided rock. Uh, on the other side is Hebrew, uh, Polish, and it says, Grave of the Fighters of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, built from the rubble of Mila Street, one of the liveliest streets of the pre-war Jewish Warsaw. These ruins of the bunker at 18 Mila Street are the place of rest of the commanders and fighters of the Jewish combat organization, as well as some of the civilians. Among them lies more than, uh, Mordechov and Lala, the commander-in-chief. On May 8, 1943, surrounded by the Nazis, after three weeks of struggle, many perished or took their own lives, refusing to perish at the hands of their enemies. There were several hundred bunkers built in the ghetto. Found and destroyed by the Nazis, they became graves. They could not save those who sought refuge inside them, yet they remain everlasting symbols of the Warsaw Jews' will to live. The bunker at Mila Street was the largest in the ghetto. It is the place of rest of over 100 fighters, only some of whom are known by name. Here the rest buried where they fell, to remind us of the whole earth is their grave. And this is the remains of one of the bunkers, and it has a large stone with uh, pebbles on top of it, and a nice engraving on it. Yeah. So, uh, Mila Street.